hit that deer. Don't hit that deer, bro. Oh my gosh. Boy, would you look at that view. It's just a gorgeous view looking down over the farm, and that is where we're going to build our new grapes. That's right. We're finally going to get to building grapes today. Now get out of here, dear. This is where I'm going to build my grapes. You don't get to be out. You trespassers, get on out of here. I tell you what, these darn deer. Ah, oh, there's more of them. Get out of here, dear. This is my domain, not yours. Run, shorty, run. <laughs> All right, enough. Nope, nope, I, I lied. Not enough chasing the deer. Get over here. Oh, chainsaw. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm done. I'm done being stupid. Let's go sleep until March, shall we? I'm going to hibernate through the winter. But hey, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like and subscribe. Also got a cool announcement for YouTube members and for Patreon members as well. That's right. We have launched a Patreon. Both of you get the exact same perks. It's the same on YouTube membership as it's the same on Patreon. It's just where wherever you decide to support the channel. You get early access to videos coming soon, access to the members only farm on the Pickle Jar Public, which is our public FarmSim22 server, and certain tiers also get access to my save game, so you can actually play on this exact farm right here. All you have to do is become a Patreon supporter over on Patreon, or a YouTube member, and the, uh, the, the information of how to get this save will be provided to you. Oh, also, one final thing as we continue to sleep through the days. If you always wonder, hey, I wonder what mods Jake uses. Well, we now have a mod list. That mod list is free public access on the Patreon. There's a link to in the description down below to be able to get to that. If you wonder what mods I'm running and where you can download them, you can find a link to that down below. But enough of that. Let's skip through to March and I'll see y'all when we're finally planting our grapes. <sighs> and as the pickle emerges from his hibernation, he sees the beautiful green grass and the budding tree leaves and thinks to himself, we can finally plant some grapes. Oh, yeah. I really tried to zoom in for dramatic effect and it did not want to cooperate. But finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment since I started this save. And it is finally here. I am so excited. Let's go back here and figure out just what it's going to take for us to plant some grapes. Oh, oh boy. I need to learn how to use my brakes because I slid right on down into the river. Ooh. Okay, so we are going to use this entire hillside off to the right, and we're going to plant the whole thing in grapes. Oh, that green grass looks so good. That's a nice view. I mean, if the trees weren't all dead, it would be even better. Oh, let's not go into this guy's random backyard. My bad, bro. So this whole hillside will all be grapes, and this bit over here will not be grapes. We probably will just farm that normally. But otherwise, we're going to have a nice big grape area here. So I think what we're going to do is just pull right down here, and uh, we'll get in the grape building tool, and we'll just see what happens, eh? All right, so I switched y'all over to the ultra wide view and now we are going to plant our grapes now i don't think they need to go up and down the hill i think we'll go across but the hill kind of rolls a little bit and i kind of don't want to do straight across i'd kind of like to to kind of curve them a bit with the hill but that might not be doable so for now we'll just do straight across so i think we'll just start right there and we'll just bring them right on across like so and we'll end it just by this field and there we go first row planted thirteen thousand dollars that costs Woo! all right here we go looking top down we're trying to squeeze these as oh come on with that no no as close as I can get them. Well, that's that's probably going to have to be it right there then because I can't get over any farther than that. All right, there we go. We got two rows done, but I want to check. Hey, we got an achievement from doing that. It's going to cost us 13 5 every single row. That's going to get expensive. But I want to run up there and check with the little tractor and make sure we can get between the rows. I want to make sure that's the right length apart from each other. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take this tractor, which, which is actually a little bit bigger, and we'll see if it'll fit. Because if it fits, then our tractor we're actually going to be driving through these rows will definitely fit okay Ooh, that's gonna be tight oh boy oh man you gotta be good with it Ooh, but we fit yeah 
All right, so this tractor fits down the row, which means our other tractor definitely will as well. I'm just gonna pull all the way through the row here. Probably shouldn't be doing it at 20 mile an hour, just to make sure it's the same width all the way across. And if so, we will continue planting our grapes. Yo, that's perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. We finally got grapes. All right, I'm gonna park up here on the hill and uh, I guess a little grape planting montage here real quick, huh? Okay, we have got our entire vineyard completely planted. Let's take a look at it, shall we? To go on up the side of the hill, we do have a road that kind of, you know, breaks off this little section here. Look at that, the deer are running through the vines. That's impressive. I don't know how they manage that. But we've got a little section just up there in that little category or that little area. We've also got that walking trail going through here. So I think people will really enjoy walking through here. They'll get to walk through a grape vineyard, which will be very neat. But pretty much the way to get over there into that section is you just kind of got to go up over into this area here and you got to use that walking trail a bit. But overall, I think it's looking pretty good. We did a good system of uh, figuring out the width. Now, it may be a little off here and there. I did leave a bit of a headland or like opening area right there just because I felt like it was needed. Then, you know, coming back down, we have got all of these rows, which over here... I was thinking about putting into grapes, but no, no, we definitely won't. We're going to leave some room here because we have plenty of grapes up and down this, this hillside. I mean, it's row after row after row. We could even count how many here in just a second. I did add this little road right here as well. But then look at that. Just the view going up the side here. In fact, this is the area where we'll have some table sitting. So... You know, in the summer, in the fall and whatnot, those trees will have leaves blocking the area off. So you're down here by this river and you can look up the side of the mountain, or the, not the mountain, but the hill, and it'll just be rows and rows of grapes. Then right over there is, you know, our winery. I think this is going to be a very, very beautiful and very cool place. But now let me just go through and count how many rows we have here real quick. Ooh, there we go. We have 46, 46 rows of grapes is what I've just counted out here. So we're going to have a big, big grape operation. In fact, I might as well just go ahead and probably buy another piece of equipment for the winery here. I think that would be worth it. Like another harvester. I kind of want to just take this one shed down right here and just move all of the equipment into the shed over there. Because this shed doesn't get used enough and it could technically hold everything. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do that? I'll tell you what. Let me think that through. We're going to go and do a little bit of other, wor other work here. But that'll give me time to make up my mind on what to do back there. I know I've got a couple fields south of here that really need us to get some weeds out of it. Now, we are probably a little early to do that. At least spraying the weeds. Now, I don't know. That we're pretty early in spring, so those weeds are probably still pretty small. You know what? Yeah, so I think uh, we'll use the truck. It should be fine. I'm going to go down to town and uh, buy a new sprayer here. Well, now hold on. I actually, I, I do want to buy a sprayer, but I also kind of want to get a weeder. And I think we'll use a weeder today. And I don't feel like going into town with the truck to get that weeder. So we'll actually use a tractor. And I don't really need crazy horsepower. I bet you we could get away with using the old John Deere here, but you know what? It's actually rather slow. I think we'll just use the 7R. It's a little bit faster. Woo, she finally started. It took it a second there. It's a little cold out today. It's only six degrees Celsius out, which is above freezing. So that means it's above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now what that would be exactly, I don't know, but this tractor hasn't been run in quite a while. So that probably has a good bit to do with it. Let's put on our hazards and our beacons for safety. And we'll catch y'all when we're down at the shop. Ooh, man, sometimes that is a long drive down here, let me tell you. But we're finally here at the old dealership, so we'll just kind of pull... Well, we'll park right up over here, ought to be fine. We'll leave the tractor running too, no big deal, and uh, let's see if these boys have anything that we can use today. Well, they had a few options, and to be honest, we could have used any of them, but I decided to just go with the cheapest, most basic one. I didn't think we needed anything fancy. Sure, there were much bigger ones, but I figured that'll do the job. So let's get ourselves turned around and hooked up to it here, and uh, we'll sneak it back on up to fields 27 and I believe 26 I need to work on. 
And we'll see just how well it works. I'm hoping, since it is above freezing, that the ground will work with me. But we might have to go and rip up the ground before we can even use this. Because it might still be too hard and too frozen. We'll see. All right, we have made it here. We're going to pull into this guy's driveway and use this little entrance down into the field right here. And you can see the weeds just out there. So, ooh, brakes, 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 brakes. Come on, tractor. Whew. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and get her unfolding here. We hooked up the hydraulics and everything when we were back at the shop. Pull on in just a little ways. Let's go ahead and just drop her down. And essentially, let's hope that we can just sneak through here. And, uh, yeah, this isn't going to really get all of them, unfortunately. This is going to get the sm really small ones. That's about it. In fact, I don't even know if it's going to really get that. I think these weeds are too big for it to be knocked up with the weeder. Or the ground is still just a little hard. We might need to overturn the... I mean, yeah, that's... I mean, look at that. Those aren't even making a difference to the ground, are they? Let's see. Do we get any of these weeds? No. We're just... The ground is way too compact right now. Also, a lot of these weeds that are out here are way too big. I guess we'll just pick it up. Yeah, it ain't gonna work for today. We're just gonna have to spray them. That's what we're gonna have to do, unfortunately. But we'll get out of here, put the weeder away. I guess we have to go back to town now. Ooh, hello. Don't hit that deer. Don't hit that deer, bro. Oh my gosh. Yo, deer, you gotta move, bud. There you go. Run off, scamper. Jeez, not to the interstate, though. The other way, dummy. Bro, that white car almost hit that deer. That was wild. Okay, let's see. I guess we can just block this door over here. I mean, I never use that one door. And if I need to use that door, I guess I can just move this stuff out of the way that's blocking it, huh? But we're going to put away the weeder, and then we're going to probably go back down to town and see about getting a sprayer. But you know what? It's too early to spray them fields yet, so that can wait, really. I don't want to put chemicals on the field just yet. So we'll just leave that set there. And I've had some time to think about our grape situation. And I'm thinking we will go ahead and move the stuff into that shed, but we will just leave that other shed up because, I mean, it's a nice shed. You never know if you're going to need it. And the reason I want to make that change, that move, is because, one, I want to get another one of those harvesters right there. And two, I just want that stuff sitting in a, you know, a nice enclosed shed. This one shed is good and all, it's just not fully enclosed, and uh, I'd really like to get the stuff fully enclosed. Well, you know, I look like I'm dressed proper for the occasion. I got the, the beanie, I've got the sweatshirt. I mean, hey, it, it is a little cold outside, you know? So we'll just open up the old shed here. I might be able to just move that forklift. I might, I uh, probably will be fine. We probably don't really need to worry about it. You know what, I guess I should have gone and got that trailer first. Hold on. Oh! It looks so good. I'm so happy I have my grapevines now. Oh, I can't. Well, well, hello, building. Hi, it's me. Jake. Oh, hello, light. Hey, it's me. It's Jake. Not uh, not that I don't want to rock your your world, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, boy. I got things piled in front of things. You know, you guys get the idea. We're going to move all of this stuff. The one you guys want to see moved is this one. So, no, not that we were just in this. Let's try that again. Is this one right here. So we'll just fire it up, and uh, I'll take it out of the barn here so you can see what it's like. And beacons and four ways and turn on the lights, too. Why not? Turn on all the lights. How about that? There it is, guys. That is our grape harvester and we are going to be picking up another one. Now, I'll show you how this thing works. Now, granted, keep in mind that our grapes are not actually ready yet in any way. I should have given myself way more room. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a slow process trying to line up onto these, huh? But essentially, we come up here and we can unfold our harvester to get it ready. It's going to raise it up a bit. I'm surprised that it's not adjusting to the slope of the hill, though. That's what's surprising me. But you just kind of go along right here like this, and of course, you turn it on as well so you're actually harvesting but you just kind of do this you just drive along all right but i'm gonna go ahead and turn that off we don't need to keep going yeah i'm surprised that's not adjusting oh wait a minute wait a minute that was a little bit of something it did adjust just then Okay, so yeah, it did adjust. Okay. It just took it a second to realize. You see how the hydraulics have uh, adjusted to to make itself level to the hill? That's what I was trying to get it to do. But anyways, I mean, that's enough of this toy. I'll just fold it back up. We'll go down and park it here. But like I said, guys, we're going to buy us another one of these. I'm looking forward to the grapes, and we do have regular crops that we have to get ready yet this year as well. So a lot of stuff going on. Make sure you stick around for more. Make sure you check out the page 
Patreon for the mod list. And you become a patron or a YouTube member for access to the members only farm my own personal save games, along with other perks like patron shout outs at the end of the videos coming soon, early access to videos coming soon, and patron exclusive Q&As at the end of the podcast coming soon. By the way, while we're at it, there's a new podcast channel on YouTube. It's the Pickle Jar Podcast, so if you want to subscribe to that, you can, or you can listen to it on Spotify or whatever you listen to your podcast. That's enough of me shouting out random things. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, let me know, and until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching.